Uh, what do you think of Protestants who cross themselves when they pray or well, take a test? <laughs> well, I'll, I'll put it this way. That, um, if someone said, is it lawful or appropriate for Protestants to cross themselves? I'd say, yeah, it's lawful, but it's not appropriate at all. Why is that? Okay. Um, uh, well, first, to, on the lawfulness, John Calvin recognized that it was a very early Christian practice goes back as early as the first century, perhaps. Uh, okay. um, so, in terms of the lawfulness, mm -hmm. it's just like having a fish bumper, st a bumper sticker with a fish thing on it on sure. your on your car. That's an ancient Christian symbol, and crossing yourself is an ancient Christian mm -hmm. uh, uh, practice. So that takes care of the lawfulness. God didn't tell us not to do it, mm -hmm. um, so it's lawful. But the reason I would say it's um, uh, inappropriate or unwise for Protestants to do it is that it is telegraphing either confusion or transition. Okay, okay. because if I'm watching television and I, yeah, I see the third baseman get up to bat and he crosses himself, uh -huh. what do I think? Well, I yeah. think Italian Roman Catholic yeah. third baseman. Right. Right. Um, so I'm telling somebody something about myself. Now, now if mm -hmm. if the guy is getting up to bat. Just told America that he's a he's a Roman Catholic third baseman, and he's uh, uh, a Southern Baptist with security issues. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? He he's just he's just made a statement that right. um, would the, the same guy be comfortable Tebowing? <laughs> <laughs> right, because that it, wouldn't be cool. <laughs> right, that, that would not be cool at all. Uh -huh. And and so basically, uh, crossing yourself is not just a uh, uh, it's not just something you do. Let, let let's say. Uh, uh, a Protestant is, uh, for whatever reason, he, uh, when he, whenever he's alone and he prays, and he crosses himself, and nobody in the world right. knows that he does, and it's just something he does. And he, uh, I, that that doesn't get me worked up at all, unless it's an identity issue, uh, right? But when you're doing it in public, it's it's language. It's, mm -hmm. You're you're saying something not only to God, but you're saying something to everybody who's around, and when some, whenever you're saying something, you should say, "What am I saying? Do I agree with it? Why am I saying it? Is it is it true?" Mm -hmm. Right. So the illustration I often use is if there are twelve clowns in a circus ring, uh, you can, and you jump down there and start quoting Shakespeare, you know, mm -hmm. Saint Crispin's Day speech, to the audience, you're just the thirteenth clown. Mm -hmm. you, you don't set the uh, you don't have the gravitas to jump down there and quote the speech in such a way as to make the circus not a circus. Right. Right. So, uh, so one lone Protestant who's feeling uh, insecure about the stupid music they, they do at their church, uh -huh. and I'm, I don't feel a sense of holiness or antiquity, or I want to start getting in touch with my ancient Christian roots. And so he crosses himself at restaurants when he prays. Uh -huh. right? um, he doesn't have the gravitas to change what that means. To everybody, to everybody right. else, what it means to everybody in the world is you're a Roman Catholic. That's sure. that's what it means. Now, the thing is, though, as as um, post millennial Christians, our goal is to go out and uh, redeem culture, recover, sure. um, and a lot of that will be recovering things that have been lost. Yeah. So, so you could you can be picking um, things. Like, somebody could pick something like crossing themselves and say, right. "Look, I'm, I want to recover it." And you could say, "You don't have enough horsepower to do it." But there's right. a there could be a godly sort of post mill attitude of I don't care I'm going for it anyways. Right. Is it is it that it's the wrong thing to try to recover? Is it not strategic? Uh, yeah, I would, that would be my concern. Is okay, pick your battles carefully, uh -huh. and and I'd go back to my comment about the lawfulness of it. Uh -huh. So there is no uh, in terms of lawfulness mm -hmm. when uh, Nancy and I say grace over a meal. Uh, I close my eyes and bow my head. Mm -hmm. Well, the Bible didn't tell me I have to do that. That's a that's a human tradition. That's a custom, right? Right. right. Um, and so I've got this custom. Somebody else has that custom. Custom to custom, there's no, you know, mm -hmm. th there's no fundamental difference. And if if we got a million Protestants to say, hey, let's do this all at once and let's seize this, yeah, I don't. Mm -hmm. Great, I'm a, I'm I'm post millennial, and I think. Um, I don't have any superstitious phobia toward the right. action of crossing yourself. Is it more that you're just generally dubious of the guy's motives? That I'm, not gen just, I'm not generally dubious. Uh -huh. I'm overwhelmingly dubious. Okay. I, ba basically, evangelical Protestants 
don't have a good grasp of where they are. They don't understand what the Reformation was. They don't understand what they're doing, why, why they are where they are. And so um, 99 times out of 100, when, when people start doing things like that, it's because they're adrift. Right. And they're becoming more ashamed of their own, even the good things in their own tradition. Correct. Right. Okay.